Excellent mystery pacing and just an off the wall ending that nobody expects. Hey, what's up guys, it's Joshua. Today I wanna to do a little movie review on a movie called Arlington Road from 1999. So this movie starts off with Jeff Bridges driving. He sees a kid in the middle of the road. The kid is hurt. He drives the kid to the hospital and the kid's dad is Tim Robbins. So Tim Robbins comes and talks to Jeff Bridges. They actually live really close to each other, like a few doors down. Tim Robbins seems uh, just the slightest bit suspicious when Jeff Bridges is asking him some questions. And it starts off with this little intrigue. Now they're neighbors, now they know each other. So let's jump into the pros of this movie. And the pros I have with this movie is it does all the little things right. So essentially it's a mystery movie where Jeff Jeff Bridges is constantly suspicious of Tim Robbins and every single time he starts asking him questions or he starts to double check what Tim Robbins is saying, it just slowly starts to make less sense and less sense and Jeff Bridges starts this little side journey to figure out everything about Tim Robbins, figure out all of his lies, figure out what he's doing, why he's lying and get to the bottom of everything. The best parts of this movie was how believable the drama is, how believable all the little clues that Jeff Bridges gets about Tim Robbins. They're so slight, but just so understandable by the viewer. And I just loved how this movie just paced along. It has absolutely great pacing. The mysteries that you uncover are at a perfect pace, especially for the first two thirds of this movie. This movie is absolutely near perfect at building this mystery, building like what's gonna happen. And then also having believable drama back and forth. I just found this movie to be very believable. I liked all the twists and turns, especially for the first two thirds of this movie. The acting is all phenomenal phenomenal here too, especially Tim Robbins and Jeff Bridges. The acting is perfect. Tim Robbins needs to act like a little bit suspicious, but also like very normal. So it's like right on the edge of he's suspicious and normal. Same with um, Jeff Bridges. Jeff Bridges is really interested in Tim Robbins, but he has to act kind of normal. Like, hey bud, how's it going? And their acting is just so subtle and so perfect. And the clues that you get are just at an absolutely perfect pace. And besides that guys, the other thing that really caught me off guard and absolutely blew me away was the way that they decided to end this movie. Now I'm gonna be getting into more of my cons in a little bit. I felt like the last third was a tad generic, but the ending of this movie, when you see the way this is set up, it's supposed to end a certain way and it just does not end the way you think it's gonna end. If you've ever seen Chinatown, that's pretty much how this movie ends. Like you go through this whole movie and who is supposed to come out on top and who is supposed to lose, they're absolutely flipped upside down. And when you combine the first two thirds of this movie where it's just at a brilliantly perfect pace for a mystery, and then you have this crazy, pretty much whatever's supposed to happen, flip it upside down, and that's what happens at the end of this movie. Those two aspects absolutely blew me away. For the cons of this movie, I really don't have too much. Now, Jeff Bridges is a teacher. He does these lectures at college and pretty much zigzagging between the mystery, you have these lectures. So he'll find something about the mystery and then he'll do a lecture for like four or five minutes. And then he'll find something about the mystery and he'll do a lecture for like four or five minutes. And I felt like the pacing was good. I never felt like I was just drowning in these lectures, but it did get a little bit boring. It did get a little bit repetitive. Those are the scenes that really turned me off the most and really slowed things down. However, there is one thing that he says in one of the lectures that reigns true at the very, very end. So I do appreciate that aspect where the lectures weren't a waste of time. It does have something to do with the end, but overall it was very, very slow. It is the slightest bit political as well, but it really didn't bother me that much. But I'm pretty sure Jeff Bridges and Tim Robbins are aligned on a specific political side in real life. And I feel like they pushed a hair of it into this movie, but again, it was not anything to write home about did not take anything away from the movie. Another thing is that the last third of this movie became a little generic. Now, like I said, the first two thirds of this movie, absolutely brilliant mystery pacing, phenomenal, like amazing. But I felt like the last third was a tiny bit generic. Again, what kind of flipped it on its head was that at the end of this genericness, you get the most crazy ending that you could possibly get. There was a couple scenes where Jeff Bridges is supposed to be crying. He's supposed to be breaking down and 
I just don't think that's Jeff Bridges' strong points. I feel like he would play a better kind of sullen or quiet guy when he's sad. I didn't really buy him like crying and breaking down as much, but besides that, his acting was perfect. And then the last thing that I, I just wasn't the biggest fan of is there's some things that are left not really described in this movie. Like for an example, when you see the kid in the beginning, he gets hurt. They say that he got hurt playing with fireworks, but you could kind of tell something else is going on. And you never really find out what happened to the kid. When they go into Tim Robbins' house, you could tell something's off, like all of his family is really on edge, but you don't ever see how he actually treats them, you know? So there was a lot of things that I wanted answers to that I didn't get, but they weren't that big. They didn't need answers to. I was just kind of curious to it. So if I had to rate this movie, I'd probably rate it an 8 to an 8.5 out of 10 in a buy, try, or pass. I would say for me, this is a solid buy. For you guys, at the bare minimum, a try. Definitely rent this one. It's fantastic. It blew me away. Had me thinking for a few days. And anyways, guys, have you seen this movie, Arlington Road? I'll be very interested to see what you think down below. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of your guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.